Some of the clinical cases that are a huge challenge for many doctors is how to solve a severe class 2 uh, doing or using the protocols of molar upper molar distalizations. And I can tell you that the protocol of upper molar distalization works really, really, really well when you control really well what is the biomechanics and what is, what is the, the real and the good sequence of movements to, to get the final results. As I always say, everything has to be under a protocol and when you dominate exactly what is the process, the mechanics and the sequence that really works, you can solve any type of class 2 doing this this sequence distalization movement look at this case when he came to to my clinic you can see here the 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 severe class 2 that he present at the beginning in the right side also you can see how the torque in the in the upper incisors is negative and a challenge in this case is that at the beginning of the case we have a really severe class 2 but we don't have over yet so something that we have to to do and to work at the beginning is not only we have to think not only how to solve the class 2 also we need to to think about how can we obtain a good overjet that will allow us later to solve the class 2 also look at the huge deviation of the midline the upper one is deviated to the left about more than four, four millimeters and this is the real situation if we see at the clean check in the perpendicular view where you can see that the class 2 that we have at the beginning in the right side is a severe and complete a full class 2. The protocol that we are going to use is my protocols about upper molar distalization where you can see here in the video we are going to distalize more than 6-7 millimeters in order to get a good class 1 and I will tell you in the program what are the attachments that you have to put in the, in the mouth to get this result what did you have to use for anchorage? What type of elastics that you have to, to use? So you can see here that everything and any single movement that is done in the clinchen is done by under a movement. So also I will tell you when to do a pure distillation and where to use distillation and molar rotation to get at the end a perfect result in a class one occlusion. So this is the final engagement in class one. Look at the beautiful engagement. Also look at how we obtain and improve the torque of upper incision to get a perfect relationship with the lower one. The final occlusion where we center the mid lines where the occlusion in both sides is a perfect occlusion in class one. The final shape of the arch, parabolic and coordinated upper and lower with a good torque of incisors so look how we have solved perfectly the class 2 doing a uh, more than 6-7 millimeters of class of distillation of upper molars this is the beginning of the situation with the negative torque in incisor with negative torque in premolars where the upper midline was deviated where the upper cannon were absolutely collapsed blocking the lower arch and the modification to this beautiful class 1, imperfect occlusion in class 1. Also the modification in the arch, from here to parabolic and expanded arch and coordinated on both sides. At the end, a full mother smile. So all these protocols and much more details about attachments, details about sequence of movement, details about everything is what you are going to learn in the program. Thank you very much for being a part.